We've got a little bit of pre-game bantering going on right now in the chat here. Uh, not currently visible to the stream, but uh, they're they're going at it a little bit here. Uh, both teams clearly ready and hyped for this game. Only one team can move on to the next round of the playoffs here. Uh, let me know in chat uh, who are you guys uh, rooting for in this one. I think they're so far the 30 seconds to Mars ball are favored to win this one by a small margin. But uh, let's see what chat looks like. Let me know in chat which team do you think is going to win. A little bit of ghost boosters. 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds are ready, and blue is ready. I'm going to kick off the video here. We'll be starting the game shortly here at Sponsor TV. They're down by two cap. This ball is not day coming in with the rolling bomb. They've got the return. They've got the cap. Coys needs to sit on that button. Coys, get on that button, Coys. Get on that button. Coys didn't get on the button. It looks like it might be. No, the coma. Wow. The tail of the single turtle. And there's still a minute to go. But man, have Myrtle Beach Murballs turned up the heat. The dynamics have changed entirely. And I can assure you my neighbors will attest to that. Leishman. Wait, um, okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, I, wait, did, did you say Leishman? Schweiz is coming in. Yeah, Stu and Leishman on offensive D. Ron Sponson does a really good block. Slide all over that tank pro. No, he's not. That's it. They tied it up again. You're watching the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs live on Sponsor TV, where Tag Pro happens. That's right, and Tag Pro is happening for sure here. We got a couple rolling bombs to start things off. Uh, looks like Stalin or Cash Money missed that uh, rolling bomb in the middle, and Frange is going to be able to pick it up. And they also have a Tag Pro, and that should be a nice advantage here for the Ghostbusters, the Ghost Boosters. Frange deploying the rolling bomb. And that will help him get out. He's got a boost here. I think he's past exile. Coming into base. The tag pro on base should be able to clear things up. Gem getting in the way a little bit. Frange cutting down off the wall. And that'll be a return. And looks like a reset as uh, Stalin was very smartly playing anti-re there to get the reset. And now Legman's going to be able to get out thanks to some nice support by exile with the button. Legman coming in hot. And Frange sneaks in and grabs that button for the return. And we're already off to a pretty fast start here. Flags going left and right all over the map. Looking for a return for Cap. There's the return. There's the Cap. A nice snipe by Corky getting Ghost Boosters the early lead. Jake from State Farm taking the flag out of base. And they're not going to show any sign of slowing down soon as they're keeping the tempo going. Frange, can he get the regrab out before the 30 seconds to Mars Ball are able to reset? Looks like he might be able to. Yes, he can. Another round of power ups. Rolling bomb. Rolling re for Ghost Boosters. Things are just looking right for them. Uh, Lake Man uh, was able to get the return, though. He's in base with a tag pro. And let's see here. Lake Man, that tag pro, very crucial there. Getting a couple returns. Letting Exile get out of base. And Exile looking to try to stay alive. Uh, being chased by two players now. And we've got uh, Gem with the flag. Getting closed in. A Shmugashma and Cash Money are chasing for the same area there is the return 1-0 lead early lead for the ghost boosters jake from state farm trying to get the flag out of base here and ash some nice single solo containing there by shmungashma to get the return uh, a little bit of miscommunication there as he was heading back for re but uh, cash money already on re and now ash is coming in trying to set up some blocks Maybe waiting for power-ups. He's going to be able to pick up a tag pro mid. This could be very good for them. They're trying to equalize at 1-1, one to one, but uh, Quirky's going to be able to lead. No, he's not going to lead uh, Frange out. And Exile has those team tiles to help. Can he get the return? Looks like he can. Legman coming in. There's the return. There's the cap. Uh, Shmangishma, anti-re, getting the return. And now they've equalized at 1-1. to one. Tie game here in the about a quarter of the way through the first half here. 
Exile gets returned by Gem. That'll be a reset. And what a fast-paced start to this one. Legman coming in, boosting in to grab the flag. Uh, on his own, going to be difficult to come out, so he's just being patient, just sitting there not doing much. And Gem with a nice spike, and now Legman is uh, trying to come out. There's no one ahead, so Legman's going to kiss there. Very smart kiss by Legman. And uh, another round of power-ups probably in about 15 seconds here. And, wow, Franz was being double teamed there, but he still picks up the Juke Juice. And he'll be able to grab it. Jake from State Farm with the support on the button. This is looking good. Franz, unfortunately, doesn't have the boost up top. And Exile is going to try to go for the fancy snipe. Not going to happen. Still staying ahead. And is Franz still going to cap this? Not yet. Um, a Shmungishma almost got in the way there. And a little bit of uh, miscommunication on that. Franz trying to sneak it in with the wall bounce. That was almost... A very clutch cap by Frange. And Legman with the flag. Looks like he is trying to juke past Quarky. And Cash Money with the blocking. Off of Gem using that team boost. Positioning for the power ups. Let's see what happens for this next round of power ups. Legman just pushing Jake from State Farm back. And Quirky swooping in, picking up that tag pro. Shmungishma getting one. Legman as well. 30 seconds to Mars Ball with the power-up advantage here, but uh, Frange doesn't care. He's just going to get out of base. Jake with a nice block, and now Frange is out past three. And Quirky coming in, but Legman does a crucial boost there. And what you have to do in that situation, the tag pro coming into base, Legman did exactly what he had to do, uh, be aggressive and use that team boost, get out ahead, and just prevent the cap. And that, you know, Jake ends up capping it anyways off of the re-grab, but... It could have been two caps there if Legman didn't step up uh, how he just did there. Nice job by Legman. Two to one. Ghost Boosters in the lead right now. Schmug, Schmug getting the return. Jake with the flag and ends up spiking himself. Will it let the 30 seconds to Mars Ball reset? Exile coming in hot to try to get the reset. Ronj is going to try to juke him, looking for a button juke, doesn't have it, pushing down to the bottom of the map, and cutting back up, we got power-ups coming up, no one waiting on the left power-up, two people on the mid, no, they're both chasing, Quarky with the blocks, this is looking like another cap, there it is, nice job with the blocks by Quarky, we had power-ups coming up, and that's going to be a cap sneaking in as everyone's uh, just chasing the same route, we had two players, uh, let's see if I still have my Telestrator on, um, two players were in this upper area of the map, chase through this direction, and... If you have both players going the same route from behind, that means he's past both of you, and that's what led to that cap. Three to one, Ghost Boosters with a nice lead here. Legman coming in, trying to close in on Gem, not able to get it. Gem using those bombs very well. Uh, Legman finally gets the return there. Franz coming out, Legman's going to be aggressive. Can't get the return of Shmongishma is uh, behind him now. And power-ups around the corner again. Let's see what happens this next round exile doing some nice moves getting closed in trying for the split not going to quite have it Ranj boosting straight down and here's the round of power-ups keep an eye out for this Shmungus getting the return exile picking up a juke juice Shmungus is going to go for the left power-up he's going to be able to pick it up it's going to be a tag pro this could lead them in for the cap no it's not oh my goodness Quarky almost had it exile there the juke juice proved crucial so that he could cut off that top route but Quarky was just pixels away from boosting it in for another cap and ghost boosters have been very dominant this half cash money taking the flag trying to get out and he's gonna be able to get out top but jake is ahead cash is gonna have to cut down not gonna be able to do it jake getting the return and that's gonna be a reset quirky uh on in base on defense to assure that reset and things have calmed down for a moment here Jake from State Farm, nice split, look at that split from Jake from State Farm, but unfortunately for him, Cash Money, he would have liked to go top, but Cash Money sitting on that button, and that's going to be a nice reset there, thanks to Schmungishma, had the angle, looking for the bot left power-up, and now everyone is focused on power-ups this time, as both flags are in base, come power-up time, as Schmungishma and Jake battling it out, Jake has the better positioning so far, Ash is backing up, trying to turn things around, and Franch is going to come with that tag pro, dual tag pros for the Ghost Boosters, but Exile's out with the flag, can they 
make sure they avoid the Flag Pro suicides here. Looks like they can. Both of them uh, could be very hard to push both of them out of the way. Gem coming in as well. And even though the Ghost Boosters have the power-up advantage, they cannot capitalize on it because Exile has the flag and they have the momentum at this point in time. Gem getting the return and look at that anti-regrab being played by Quarky, ensuring the reset and great job by 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Keeping the momentum, they lost the power-ups, but they kept the momentum up to mitigate that. Franz boosting in, Jake setting up a backboard and a nice play. It played well by the defense there to get the return. And Jake's going to be patient here. Maybe try to push a Schmuggish Brush. Schmuggish Brush is pretty far off the flag right now. Battling Jake, I think the reason he's doing that is because power-ups are coming up. He's looking for that bot left power-up. Franz picking up another Tag Pro in the mid. And he's going to be able to use that to ensure the team gets another two Tag Pros for Ghost Boosters. Legman with the Tag Pro. Going to be able to get cash money out top. So this is going to be another chance where... Nope, uh, Gem getting a nice snipe there, and now Franj is out with that Tag Pro uh, trailing slightly behind him, gonna cut in front of him. Jake from State Farm leading Franj in, looking for a cap. Legman just sitting right in front of the flag. He's gonna grab. He felt like his hand was forced. He's grabbing. He's trying to get out, and he's able to get past Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm getting slightly out of position. There's a kiss, and no cap there. One minute to go in this half. A Shmugishma trying to even the scores up a little bit. He's got a uh, booth top, but Gem. Great positioning with Legman on that button to get the return. Cash money with the flag and not going to take the boost. Going to cut across mid. Look at that team communication with Legman cutting out. Almost got in the way. Gem has the button. Cash money's not going to be able to go top right now. He's going to have to cut back and Quarky getting the reset. 50 seconds to go. Legman taking the flag. Just sitting by that boost, waiting for a regrab to get set up. We got power ups. He might want to look for that bottom right power up. Looking for it. Quarky with the tag pro. He's going to boost it. He's looking for it as well. Legman picks it up. It's a juke juice. And Legman picked it up at the last second. Gem with a rolling bar. Bomb could be dastardly. Gets defused. Quarky in base with a tag pro. 30 seconds to go. And 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Looking to get another cap to get it a little more even here. Quarky going to get out top. And this is not looking good for 30 seconds. Quarky sitting by those bombs. In between the two bombs. And going to stay alive. There's a spike. And cash money is out. It's returned for cap right now. Kiss would be advised. And a Schmungish is just going to sit ahead. We got 10 seconds here. 3 to 1 Ghost Boosters. And Legman coming in, closing in. I don't know if anyone's going to cap here at this rate. They're both just hanging around in the middle. We got just a couple seconds. Three, Cash money hoping two, for a last second yeah. return. Not going to happen. Ron sitting on the button. Three to one. Ghost Boosters take a decent lead in this first half here. Get my scoreboard updated. We have it three to one ghost boosters with a nice lead in the first half of the first game. We saw a first uh, half that was very high paced here. Uh, power up battles, really fun to watch, and really it was all about the momentum. And 30 seconds to Mars Ball uh, really struggled to to counter the momentum that Ghost Boosters were having. They were getting the flag out of base, keeping it out of base, and uh, we saw some nice job. A nice job by Franz, really uh, carrying the team a bit there. Uh, Gem and Quirky playing really well on defense. We saw Quirky himself actually playing anti-regrab when it counted and got them a lot of crucial resets. And that's part of what helped them keep that momentum. And it's going to be very tough now because 30 seconds to Marsball can be going into this game with a deficit 
of two caps that they're going to have to try to compete against. You're watching the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs live on Spots and TV, where Tag Pro happens. Well, and here we go. Jake from State Farm picking up the Juke Juice Legman with the Rolling Bomb and Frond with a Tag Pro. We got one of each power-up early advantage to Ghost Boosters. Let's get that first half score on the screen so that, well, actually, I'm going to wait to see if anything happens here with this power-up Jake with a Juke Juice. And looking like he's past two coming in. We got some blocks. Can he come around in time? No, the nice team boost there. And Franz taking the flag out of base as well. Let's see if we can't get that first half scoreboard up there. There we have it. 30 seconds to Mars Ball with that. Wait, was it Ghost Boosters that had three caps? I think I might have mixed it up. Yeah, it was Ghost Boosters. Sorry, I got this football. Well, we had another round of power ups, and again, a nice power up advantage for the Ghost Boosters. Frange with that tag pro going to be able to lead Jake from State Farm out of base and. They split a schmanger schmanger. That was like a reverse split that we saw right there. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, Exile with a nice clutch team boost snipe to prevent the cap. And nope, not able to get the cap. Quirky with the tag getting the return and Exile trying to get out of base. Jake. Just being patient here. We got three players hot on Exile's heels, but he ends up staying alive, cutting across the team tiles. And it's gonna be a return. And it looks like there's a return, Jake. Coming up, Legman gonna be able to get out off the top. Corky coming in with that tag pro. And it's return for Cap. Not gonna quite get it. Exile's got a rolling regram. Exile coming out of base. There's the rolling bomb defused. Jem staying ahead. Nice positioning by Jem. Ashmangishma getting in the way a little bit, pushing Exile backwards. Off the wall, Jem gets juked because of that wall bounce. Frange is there on the regrab, preventing the cap and looking for a kiss. And this might not be very good because it uh, looks like Exile is respawning and it may be hard for the Ghost Boosters to get out of base. Jem getting returned. Uh, luckily, there's a reset on the other side of the map. Still 3 to 1, Ghost Boosters and Lulu. And we've got uh, not uh, much happening right now as another round of power-ups is coming up. And, boy, 30 seconds to Mars Ball needs to really up the ante here. They need to turn up the heat and start playing uh, with a little bit more aggression because they're down by two caps and uh, we're already a quarter of the way through the second half. And they have shown no signs yet of turning that around. The Juke Juice runs out for Exile. Jake from State Farm coming in on offense. Frond being patient here. One of the things, uh, one of the tenants you'll see in uh, offense of at this uh, high competitive level is they'll work together very cohesively. And you won't typically see, unless there's a reason for it, you won't see one player try to make a 1v2 grab. If you're the only one in base and there's two defenders, it's typically advised to wait for your offensive partner. And you're seeing that uh, from the Ghost Boosters unit right now. They're working together as a team. Frond's going to try to grab. Jake uh, just can't really do anything there. Exile playing some nice no grab, being very aggressive. And that's what they need to do. 30 seconds. Got to be aggressive here. They got to start getting this flag out of base. Ash can't quite get the return thanks to some nice blocking by Frange. There's that cohesive uh, offensive unit that we were talking about. Frange staying alive. Can't get out bottom, but... Uh, Horst baits a schmungishma and is going to be able to cut across. And look at this. This is looking like a good shot. Off the wall. Franz coming in. That's going to be a cap. Nice job by Ghost Boosters. Now they've extended their lead to three. 
Their total score is 4-1. to one. Ishmagishma is going to get out of base. Jake is going to stay alive. Franj and Jake, a little miscommunication there uh, doing that thing. You know when you're walking down the hallway and uh, you're going to run into someone and you're both doing that little dance where you cut back and forth? That's exactly what happened there with Franj and, and Jake. And it looks like there's going to be a kiss. Franj is going to be able to get out. Legman is going to be able to get out. Exile trying to cut things off. Can't quite do it. Another round of power-ups coming up really soon here. Gem is going to get blocked way out of position thanks to a Shmungashma. And Franj and Legman looking for the middle power-up. Exile coming on. Franj still picks it up. Gem getting a Juke Juice. Ash with a Tag Pro going to come over. He's, he's going to chase with it anyways. Nope, heading backwards. Gem getting the return. Gem's going to be able to get another return. Gem playing pretty well right now with that Juke Juice. And this is not looking very good for 30 seconds to Marb's ball. Three caps that they need in four and a half minutes. It'll be very difficult. Oh my goodness! We just saw a nub step right there. And now it's a, uh, what is it? Four cap lead for th the Ghost Boosters. And man, that really just turned, uh, <laughs> Those nub steps are very... <laughs> Chad is exploding right now. That's not what they needed. They had two people on regrab and they still managed to get nub step. That was that was the point the nub step there. <laughs> we need a name for that. Can anyone coin a name for what just happened there? I think that was like an ultra nub step. I don't know what... That's not a good name for it, but boy, that, that one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, four caps to go here for 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Three and a half minutes. They're going to have to cap it more than once each minute. <laughs> and Exile coming in looking to get a cap. Gem getting the return. 30 seconds, just uninspirational play right now. They're just not, uh, when they get out with the flag, which is not very frequently, they're not staying alive for very long. Uh, Power-ups have been a bit of an issue, and just in general, the main thing is that momentum. And uh, It's really difficult because Ghost Boosters are putting up quite the game right now. Got another round of power-ups. Quarky waiting on mid. Gonna be able to pick up it up. It's a rolling bong leg man. <laughs> I just said rolling bong. <laughs> uh, leg man with the rolling bomb of his own coming in with that rolling bomb. Should be able to get a cap here. Yep, it blows them both away. Now it's just three caps. Can we see a comeback from 30 seconds to Mars Ball? They need three caps, two and a half minutes. So far, they're doing one cap per minute since I said they had to. It was only one minute ago, and they've already created one cap. Looking for just three more in two and a half minutes. Exile not helping with that team boost, and he's gonna have trouble getting out of base here. Whoa! Okay, Gem there with that juke juice to get the return. And it looks like Ronge is going to be patient here. Got a nice team boost out mid. He's going to be out past two, coming in top. And there's an unfortunate spike. 2v1 blocks, and that's going to be a cap. And now we're back to a four cap game looking very, very dim for the 30 seconds to Mars ball right now. What, what they've got to do is just go into the second game, realize it's a totally new game. They've got another chance to start over 0-0, and hopefully they can keep this momentum. But right now, they're just getting ousted um, on pretty much every level, and the momentum's been entirely on the Ghost Booster's side. Leg man with the flag. Can't get past Quarky. Uh, Kroski in chat mentioning Franj is playing better tonight than he has all season on fire. Absolutely, Franj playing very well. Let's take a quick peek at the stat. Franj with three captures this half. Boy, is Franj quite the asset right now for the Ghost Boosters. Uh, Legman going to be able to get out, but can't get the boost. Gem is going to try for a bomb snipe. Jake pushing forward. This is looking like it might be a chance for a cap for the 30 seconds to Mars ball. Legman looking for a wall he can bounce off. Maybe the top left wall. Doesn't feel it. Looking for that bottom power-up. It came up as a rolling bomb. Would have been helpful. Everyone's going for power-ups. Legman can't get the cap. Uh, cash money with the re-grab. Let's look at these uh, power-ups here. I mean, the hold time. Minute 44 hold for Frange. Pretty even hold from both teams. Actually, the 30 seconds to Mars ball actually do have higher hold. So it's not the story that I thought it was. It seemed like 
Uh, they, there's a cap. There it is. Cash money to get the cap. It seemed like the Ghost Pushers had way more hold throughout throughout much of the game, but that's actually not correct. Exile, please. Boost his uh, flight carry into the spike. And uh, cash money. It's just a formality at this point. They're trying to get another cap to see if they can tie the half. Cash money coming in with the flag. Not going to be able to pull it off. Not enough time. And that's going to be it. That's your first half. Ghost Boosters ended up winning it 3-2 to two this half. And aggregate score of 6-3. to three. And there we have the scoreboard updated. Six to three, Ghost Booster is gonna pull away with the first game, looking to try to go after this second game here. Uh, 30 seconds to Mars Ball, need to take a breather and just uh, get a little bit of a reset here. Uh, let me cut to a quick uh, hype video for this second game here on Sponsor TV. It's the MLTP Playoffs. You're watching the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs, live on Sponsor TV, where Tag Pro happens. In a world where four balls must compete to capture the flag, one team will be victorious. Be sure to watch and witness the Ghost Boosters take on 30 Seconds to Mars Ball in the matchup that is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Four balls, three power-ups, two flags, and one unforgettable night. Unforgettable night. Unforgettable night. Tune in to Sponson TV this Sunday, August 16th at 9.30 Eastern for all the action. Getting a little bit of a uh, chat in there about the eight, four balls versus eight balls. Uh, if you uh, doing a little bit of analysis on the text, I'm talking about uh, one team uh, will win. And that's what the four balls refers to as uh, four balls on a team. Uh, we got also asking for a replay of the nub step. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability of doing that right now. Although I will mention that NLTP and Novice League is uh, working on a initiative they call Regrip Recap, NLTP Recap, and part of uh, what they're looking into that is how can we manage these replays? Can we come up with a system to make the replays easier to manage so that in a live stream scenario like this, we can come back with some interesting replays so um, as of right now I don't have the capability of that but I think in the future that's something that we're going to be able to look uh, look over and see if we can't uh, implement that into a lot of our streams so um, thanks to NLTP for blazing the trail there and we'll be keeping an eye out for that but if you guys do want to watch a replay of that cap you can certainly find one uh, after the game at my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Ron Sponson and I'll also be posting it on the wire thread in the Major League Tag Pro subreddit I'm sure someone will take it, or maybe even I'll take it and uh, cut that up because that was a uh, <laughs> it was quite the nub step. We had two on regrab, and they both got nub step. A little bit of correction from chat here. It's NLTP re-grab, not recap. Alright, sounds like we're having a little bit of mumble issues. Uh, Legman is uh, having trouble getting on the mumble. He's going to uh, go on to his phone. <laughs> uh, but apparently his phone charger broke and he, he only has 1% battery. Uh, this is quite the scandal here. Legman having some issues. Alright, sounds like they're ready and we'll be launching shortly here.
You're watching the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs, live on Sponsor TV, where Tag Pro happens. Three, two, one. And to start things off for this half, we again have one of each power up. Looks like Corky and Exile are going to fight for that rolling bomb, and it's going to get diffused, pushing Exile into the spike. And it looks like Ghost Boosters again with the lead on power ups. Franz with that Tag Pro going to. Uh, they're having trouble using it. Franz should be able to use that to help him get out of base, but he can't, and that uh, did not work. We're not getting sounds here. I'm going to do a quick refresh. There we go. We got our sounds back, and Jake coming out with the flag, getting sniped by Aardvark. Franz getting cornered. Almost stayed alive there. Not much happening right now. This is a in stark contrast with the first half. Maybe uh, teams are playing more conservatively, but uh, another round of power-ups coming up, and uh, we haven't really seen any action with the flags right now. Cash Money picking up that Tag Pro. X out with the Tag Pro as well, and this might be just what 30 seconds to Mars Ball needs. Two Tag Pros, although one of them is going to stay back on defense. And the other one's going to kiss. Or not kiss, but get returned. Looking like a good shot here. Exile going to clean up. And keeping that tag pro on defense definitely worked. Get on that button, Aardvark. There it is. And that's going to be the cap. And now 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Getting the lead here. I'm back, says Exile. And Legman. It's returned. A couple flaccids there. Bronze trying to get out of base. While they're all foreign base, almost pull the coy, so it's been started. That's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we had a sub with uh, Aardvark coming in now instead of Schmug Schmug. Tact tactical sub. Legman coming out with a Juke Juice, and that might be what they need. Let's see if he can use this to his advantage. Um, they were just having troubles that for that first game uh, wasn't uh, working on uh, working for them, and so a little bit of a sub uh, change to the lineup could be all you need. Looking for another cap here. Not quite uh, that easily. Legman's going to have to head backwards. And Corky getting the return, and now 30 seconds to Mars Ball. I was going to say, have the momentum keeping the flag out of base, but <laughs> not quite. Gets returned right before I say that. Exile having trouble. There he has the return. This is playing a lot more defensively than it was the first half. We saw the flag out of base a little bit uh, more frequently in the first half. Or the first game, actually. 2v1 power-up battles on each side of the map. You'd expect each team to win, and that's exactly what happens. Each team wins one. Aardvark with the tag pro on defense. Going to clear things up and just sit right on that flag. Got a little bit of spam going in chat. I'm going to ask you guys to uh, not do that. Legman getting out of base. Gem sitting ahead. This is game two, half one. Legman coming in and trying to sneak around. Uh, we got to watch for this team boost here. He's going to have to cut backwards, hit a boost off the wall. Going to try to cut back three. Not going to have it. Corky playing a uh, nice loose contain here between two and three. Legman's going to try to slip around, try to cut back, and Gem is going to get the return there. Quirky getting the snipe, and that's a nice reset by Quirky. And if he gets the button here, he could stop cash money. Not gonna be able to do it. Jake can't quite get out. There's gonna be a return. Cash money grabbing the flag off the wall. A nice bounce there, and Gem just sits still and gets the return. Probably one of the easiest returns of her career there. And there's going to be another return by Gem. Gem and Quirky, a uh, nice cohesive unit playing very well together. 
Legman with a nice uh, boost spike, and that might allow Cash Money to get out. Not quite. Legman. Gonna catch Gem. Uh, oh, tried for the split. Not gonna quite have it. Power up's coming up. Frange and Stalin battling for the middle power up. Gonna get defused. And Aardvark picks up the left Juke Juice. Quirky picking up a Juke Juice on the right. Both Juke Juices staying back on defense. And cash money with the flag. Gonna get returned. Ranj couldn't quite get out top, but Cash Money uh, couldn't get past Gem either. Legman might get out. He's still going to look to come top. Didn't feel like he had it. And Quark will get the reset. Two tag bros for Ghost Boosters. See if they can get out of base because of that Frange with that tag pro. And no. Nicely played by the defense. Uh, 30 seconds. Corky with the flag. And couldn't get past XI. Artbark coming in, and <laughs> wow, Corky with that bomb preventing the cap. That was a great uh, clutch bomb by Corky. Looked like Artbark had a nice chance there. And look at these two tag pros. Legman with a nice boost, gonna get out of base. 1 0 for 30 seconds, looking to make it two. And off the wall. And gonna get returned by Gem. Stalin with the flag, gonna get sniped by Corky. Corky just getting reset after reset. Playing very well. Keeping the flag in base, offense struggling to get the their flag, or to get the cap, I guess. <laughs> um, and that's an important point. You need the offense and defense to both play well to be able to cap. If one of them's playing well and the other's not, you're not going to be able to get a cap. And right now, the Ghost Boost is having difficulty uh, competing and getting the flag out of base with Aardvark and Exile, uh, the pairing on defense right now. Stalin looking pretty impotent with the flag, <laughs> says Chris. Nice snipe again by Quarky. Look at Quarky. Quarky playing very solidly right now. Unfortunately, again, his uh, offense is having trouble getting the flag um, over to their side of base. But Quarky is getting all these resets. Cash money with the flag. And Quarky getting another return. Maybe a reset. Let's see if Gem can cut off the right hand side. She can, and that'll be a reset. One minute to go. 1 0 lead for 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Ronch didn't quite help there, but he may be able to get. Nope, he can't get out. Stalin can grab the flag. He's going to be able to get out top, maybe past three. And Exile can't quite get the return with the tank. Bro, oh, no, Exile! <laughs> Exile couldn't quite get it. And um, Ghost Boosters, I mean, the 30 seconds almost got another cap there, but Exile couldn't quite clear up that top area. That was a nice job uh, from Jake from State Farm. Staying alive, cutting off the route there up top, and preventing a cap. Getting calls to bench Exile and put in Ash. 
Hashtag free ash. Five seconds to go. That's going to run out, and Three, that'll be it. Right now, it's just two, kept flags here. One. And it looks like 30 seconds are going to get a kept flag. And they also kept the lead, 1-0. to zero. A little bit of a change of pace here. 30 seconds now with the lead going into the second half of game two. We're going to take a quick break at halftime here to have the Tag Pro and Booyah capture the flag. Every Sunday. Night, something special happens. It's called capture the flag. Follow your captain. We're hoping our favorite team wins. Epic games begin. Booyah! Capture the flag. Booyah! It's in the bag. Capture the flag was created by Lucky Spammer. He's good friends with Ink More Pork and New Compt. Capture the flag. Booyah! It's in the bag. Deer sound like this. Whoa! Oh! Booyah! Capture the flag. Booyah! It's in the bag. Oh, I better get my uh, scoreboard updated here. 1-0. 30 seconds to Mars Ball in the lead. Sounds like Aardvark was actually muted for five minutes of that last game. Sounds like Cash Money wants to change his name to Regrab Chain Killer because he killed their Regrab Train Chain. Oh, Regrab Train would be another good name for it. Choo Choo. Yeah, it is usually regrab train. You're right. I don't know where regrab chain came from. Free the reptiles, the reptile rapper riot, please. All right, we'll compromise. I'll let you guys do some spam when we're not in game. But if I see anyone doing it in game, then you'll get uh, you'll get the ban. But uh, yeah, uh, you guys uh, have free. Feel free to chat in in uh, the halftime here. Only this halftime. This isn't going to be a normal thing. You just gotta let it out.
All right, you guys got 18 seconds left to spam, and uh, I will ban people if they spam after that. So, I think this is your warning. You're watching the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs live on Spots and TV, where Tag Pro happens. All right, no more spamming here. Tag Pro is happening. Uh, Quirky getting the rolling bomb gets fused. Legman with a Tag Pro. Let's get the first half score up here. Oh my goodness. Ron, Ron Sponson, please. You guys will all get refunds after this. Uh, I forgot to switch to the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have radio mode there for a second. Uh, Legman coming in gets a nice snipe by Quirky. <laughs> People are <laughs> saying I should ban myself after that one. Cash money coming in with the flag looking to get a cap. Not going to happen. First half score up here, 30 seconds to Mars Ball with a one cap lead right now. Ghost Boosters won game one, so 30 seconds need to win this game if they want to remain in the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs. And they will be able to get out top. Nice job by Cash Money getting that button, but Gem is top cut off, and now Legman's in a bit of trouble. we will be able to protect that button again. Uh, Tag Pro is going to be running out soon, so he's going to fall back to get on re-grab. And Cash Money going to grab the flag, going to get sniped by Jim, and that'll be a reset. We may be looking at some overtime here at, the, at this rate, because uh, if Ghost Boosters win this one, we'll have to resolve that high. Um, also, uh, 30 seconds get another cap, uh, then, then we would also have some overtime. Uh, there's a nice return by Exile, and that'll be a reset for both teams. Looking to get a round of power-ups here. Frange uh, going for the bot right, allowing Jake to get there, but Jake didn't have enough time to get uh, the rolling bomb. Cash Money, unfortunately, spikes himself there. Questionable decision. And now Frange is going to get out past three. Frange coming in for the Ghost Boosters, and they may be able to tie it up because of that spike. They have done it. Now it's tied one-to-one -one, uh, after the misstep there uh, with that spike, uh, allowing an easy cap. There's a return. Legman and Gem thinking about kissing, and now we're tied here. There's going to be a return. Gem going to try to get out of base. Whoa! A little bit of team boost there. Gem somehow stays alive through all that, but Exile finally gets a return. Another round of power-ups coming up. You got Aardvark waiting alone on the bot right. Uh, Franz is going to boost in for it. Jake having trouble winning that middle, and Legman is going to win at Exile with the Tag Pro as well. Two Tag Pros for 30 seconds to Mars well. Can they use those to get the lead back? Yeah, no, not quite. And unfortunate, um, had they been able to win that button, might have had a good chance at a cap. Gem with the snipe. Exile. Can't get past Gem. Gem playing very well in these one-on-one -on -one situations. Nice one-on-one -on -one containing by Gem there. Jake with a nice interesting boost. Almost got out. Almost grabbed the flag. Chose not to. Franch going to win the top button there. And that's some nice teamwork. Jake's going to hit the bomb. Artwork backing up to not get hit by the boost. And now he's ahead. Great job by Aardvark. Jake is going to be able to line up a boost here, but look at Aardvark and Exile plugging up uh, these uh, number two and number three, and Exile going to choose to get the rolling bomb instead. Gem with the Tag Pro. Aardvark with the Tag Pro as well. Gem going to try to get the return, and Scott the Snipe. Jake going to stay alive. Going to have to cut back. Gem's going to have to get out of the way. We got a 
maybe a kiss attack, but I was not quite. Exile grabbing with a rolling bomb. Gonna go out to Mark. He's gonna be there. Rolling bomb runs out at the right second. There's gonna be a snipe and a cutback from Jake. Jake almost got sniped there, narrowly getting sniped, but a great last second cutback, and that'll be a cap. And now Ghost Boosters have the lead once again. 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Got to be feeling the pain right now. If Ghost Boosters win this half, they, well, if they win this game, they will be moving on. And it looks like they're going to get another cap here if Legman can get blocked out. And there it is. There's the flashlight, and there's another one. And now Ghost Boosters with a two cap lead, and things have turned sour for 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Another round of power ups. No one waiting for mid. Legman's going to be able to pick it up. Jem getting the return, Franz trying to get out of base, Aardvark hits the boost a little bit early, allowing Franz to get out, Jem gets in the way and pushes Franz almost into the spike. With that tag pro. And Legman gonna get sniped by Quarky, can Jake get out? It looks like he can, cash money, gonna try to stay alive, and there's gonna be a reset for return for both teams. Maybe not a reset as Jem is trying to get out, there's the reset. Another round of power-ups. Jake waiting on mid. Stalin coming in as well. Now uh, we got every single player involved right now fighting for power-ups. And Franz is going to take advantage of that and try to get a 1v1 grab. Not going to happen. Whoa. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Franz is going to be able to get out of base. It is going to happen. Coming in. And he's boosting it. What? Oh, man. <laughs> he almost got another cap there. Franz playing very well today. He is uh, absolutely on fire. caps this half alone uh, with I think I saw him doing three caps the second half first game boy is he playing well and now the 30 seconds looking to mount a comeback can they do it exile with the flag gonna cut around Franch exile coming up into base gonna hit the bomb he had to whoa exile with Greg a bomb that pushes this chaser into the spikes and allows him to get ahead and now it's just a one cap game and 30 seconds to Mars Ball are just doing whatever they can to remain in this great cap there by Exile with that bomb. Top 10 plays of the Bull TV calling out. Nice one. Very, very nice. And this is just getting exciting now as the 30 seconds to Mars Ball down by just one cap. Exile going to grab the flag. Gem getting sniped. Two and a half minutes to go and one cap separate the Ghost Boosters from moving on. To this next half or one cap allow them to move on to this next round <laughs> two minutes to go and 30 seconds need to get another cap here at least Wait for these power rounds, and one cap's pretty easy to get on this map. If you can win a round of power ups, your entire team, then boy, you could turn it around and get a cap pretty easily. Gem gonna come in, try to fight for the middle. Let's see who wins these power ups. This is gonna be crucial. Exile picking up a rolling bomb. Another rolling bomb on the right. Legman with the rolling bomb. Both two out of three defused, and Gem trying to get the third one defused. All three defused. This round of power up is uh, not important. Ardvark gets button juked, and unfortunately, there was a spike there. Jake. To be able to get out uh, middle, maybe? No, he hits the walls. Jake, an unfortunate bounce off the wall there. Exile with a nice play, and Legman's going to cut back, and Jake's going to have to hit that boost, and Legman's going to be out past two, coming into base. We've got two in base. There's a team boost. Quarky coming up, and now Legman's got three to beat. Waiting for a team boost. Doesn't have one. Going to have to cut back. Hovering by the bottom. One minute to go, and Legman just forging ahead. Can't quite get it to go. And Exile going to grab the flag. And this could be it. This could be the last minute of Tag Pro for this game tonight here as the 30 seconds to Mars Ball need to do something to get one more cap or else they're going to be out of the playoffs. 30 seconds to Mars Ball got to do, uh, have to win this power-up round, essentially. Let's see what happens. And Frange is going to do a cutback. They've got to also contain Frange. Jake getting in the way. And uh, they got to get Frange returned, get that flag back in base, allow them a chance to cap here. And Franch is going to get out. 
And uh, this is not looking good. Gem getting the return. Quarky come up. There's a return. And that's it. I think Ghost Boosters may have sealed the deal. Getting a cap there. Frange playing really well. Third cap of the half. Frange is absolutely killing it right now. And that is going to be a large part of their success tonight. As they'll be moving on to the next round of the Major League Tag Pro Playoffs. Congratulations to the Ghost Boosters uh, for a very well played series of games. Everything's a formality at this point. Just a few seconds uh, going to count down. Frange is absolutely the MVP of this game, and uh, that's just a very exciting finish. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this uh, tangential 12 first round of playoffs. Congratulations to the Ghost Boosters for pulling off quite a win and a uh, very nice play here from Frange and Quarky, Jem, and Jake. Uh, it was a hard-fought um, battle for 30 seconds to Mars Ball. Um, but unfortunately, they just uh, weren't able to get that, uh, get the momentum that they needed. Uh, not playing well as a team, and that's going to be what cost them. Well, I want to let you guys know there's going to be another game coming up very soon. I'm going to host it here on Sponsor TV so that you will be able to see it. Um, but you can also just go to it as well. Go to reddit.com slash r slash mltp, and you will see the uh, post for it. Uh, but let me get you guys a link to it as well in chat. Also, I will be updating the scoreboard. Actually, I don't remember what it was. But uh, the important part is Ghost Boosters won both games. They'll be moving on to the next round of playoffs. Well, it looks like Grant will be streaming the next game uh, starting in about a minute. Uh, KG Ballers taking on Capper's Delight. Let me get you a link in chat. TV slash Grant Wishes. And I'll be cutting over to that soon. So I want to thank you guys once again for watching Sponson TV. And I uh, hope to see you guys uh, next week for Major League Tag Pro Playoffs.